In this machine learning class, we will see future subset selection from second unit. And this is another important topic from second unit. So uh, here we will see the issues in high dimensional data so that we can easily understand why the future subset selection is important. And before selecting the subset, we need to consider the key drivers of future selection. That is the future relevance. Relevance means the related features and the future redundancy. Redundancy means the repeated features. So we need to remove those things. Right. So in the next class, we will see the measures of future relevance and redundancy and the overall future selection. So in today's class, we will see the future subset selection. What is future selection? It is a process of selecting the subset of the system attributes or features. Okay, so that is called as feature selection. That means in the entire data set, we are going to select only the required field or required attributes of the data set based on our problem is called as feature selection. Let us see one example for this. That is student data set. Okay, in the student data set, we need to predict the weight of the student based on the past information of the similar student, based on the past information about the similar students. Here, the given features are, see, roll number, age, height and weight. So, these are the given features. And the roll number have no bearing in prediction of student weight. So, the roll number is used to simply identifying the student weight, but this is there is no relationship between the weight and the student number. Right? So, we can eliminate the future roll number and build a new feature subset. Right? So, this is the table. Here, we are having age, height and weight. Okay? No need of roll number here. Now let us see the issues in high dimensional data and nowadays everything are digitalized hence the volume of generation data is increased unbelievable extent and simultaneously the storage is also that is the memory also cheaper day by day right hence it is important to mine the data from very large and high dimensionality data set. And now let us see the two uh, important domains which deals with very high dimensional data. First one is uh, biomedical research and second one is text categorization. When come to biomedical research, it includes gene selection from microarray data. Hence, it generates a data set having a number of features in the range of few tens of thousands. So, this much very big data set it required. Okay. And the next one is uh, text generation, which is also an extremely high dimensional data set. And the data may be collected from social networking sites, uh, email messages, articles, and etc. Okay. Hence, uh, the large document corpus having few thousands of documents embedded. That is, in the single document, few thousands of documents included. Hence, when come to the unique word tokens, the count may be few tens of thousands. Okay. So, this much dimensions will get increased. And this high dimensional data may be big challenge for any machine learning algorithm. So, for handling that much high dimensional data, what are the problems we will face? First one is very high quantity of computational resources and a high amount of time will be required. Okay. So, the computational resources and the high amount of time, it will take huge time uh, which are required. And second one is the performance of the model. Both the supervised and unsupervised learning tasks are degrades sharply due to unnecessary noise in the data. Okay. The performance will get, that will not increase, but it will get decreased, right? And the model built an extremely high number of features may be difficult to understand because if the size is increased, then we cannot easily understand though it is a machine learning algorithm. Hence, it is necessary to take the subset of features instead of full set, okay? 
that means only the required fields alone we need to select so based on our property now let us see the objective of future selection in what basis we will select the required features in the very huge data set the first one is having faster and more cost effective learning model okay the more cost effective learning model is required uh, for selecting the features that is less need of computational resources and second one is improving the efficiency of learning model so efficiency should be improved and the third one is having a better understanding of underlying model that generates the data so we need to understand the data very well next let us move to the key drivers of future selection two categories are there first one is future relevance and second one is future redundancy okay first let us see the future relevance in supervised learning so when come to supervised learning the data set which is given to input as the training data the training data is given as input to the uh, supervised learning model and the model have to assign the class labels to new and unlabeled data okay if it is new data then we need to assign the class label and for unlabeled data also we need to assign class label here the each predicted variable predicted variable is expected to contribute information to decide the value of class label okay so the predicted variables are very important in the supervised learning right if the variable is not contributing any information then this is called as irrelevant variable right and if the information contribution is very little then this is called as weakly relevant variable and all the other variables are strongly relevant variables okay so based on the information the variable may be that is the predictor variable may be irrelevant variable weakly relevant variable and strongly relevant variable and now let us see the future relevance in unsupervised learning and in unsupervised learning there is no training data set or there is no labeled data right so uh, here the grouping of similar data instance are done and the similarity of data instance are evaluated based on the value of different variables right so in unsupervised learning we need to group the similar data instance and the similarity of data instance are evaluated based on different the values of different variables okay and certain variables are not contributed any useful information hence those variables are called as irrelevant variables let us take student data set as our example as we have seen the predicting weight of students roll number is not contributing any information in supervised learning when come to unsupervised learning we need to group the students based on academic capabilities here also the roll number will not contribute any useful information so the roll number is irrelevant to those applications hence we simply reject the roll number in selecting the subset of features right but when come to the weakly relevant features that may be rejected or not based on uh, the problem or case to case it may be changed in the future selection process next we will see future redundancy uh, future redundancy means the future information which is similar to one or more other features then this is called as future redundancy okay that is repeating the information for example uh, the weight prediction problem of student data set both the features age and height contribute similar information that means increase in age weight is increased and increase in height the weight also be increased and age and height increased with each other okay hence the age and weight contributes similar information right that is when one future is similar to other future 
then the future is said to be potentially redundant future in the context of learning problem. Here, all futures are potentially redundant should be removed from final future subset and only the uh, smaller number of representative futures should be part of our final subset, right? Now, the objective of future selection is remove all futures which are irrelevant and redundant, okay? So far we have seen uh, the future subset selection and here issues in high dimensional data after that uh, in future selection two categories first one is future relevant and future redundancy we have seen all those things is exam right so in the next class we will see the measures of future relevance and redundancy after that the overall future selection so those are the things we will see in the next class thank you